Hi, welcome back to my channel where we shamelessly talk about the things that make us smile, especially beauty products. Today we're gonna be discussing ColourPop's new release, the big box of lippy sticks. <laughs> So ColourPop was kind enough to send me this big box of lippy sticks. I'm so excited. I can't wait to review this for you. I've been testing it all week. I did several looks with it. I also tried it with a variety of makeup looks and I tried it with and without a lip pencil. I'm even wearing it today. <laughs> ColourPop's big box of lippy sticks includes 48 colors, 38 original shades, and 10 new shades. The description promises every shade of nude, red, pink, and orange, and it comes in three different formulas, cream, matte, and matte X. The box is valued at $288, but retails for $150 for a total savings of $138. After selling out upon initial release, the box is currently back in stock. Check it out on ColourPop.com. I have a code for you to use below if you choose. I do not get commission on this. So the first thing I want to talk about is how comfortable these lipsticks are because if a lipstick isn't comfortable, you shouldn't wear it. <laughs> they're very lightweight and they're non-drying, which is really unusual for matte lipsticks. I actually have somewhat dry lips. Matte lipsticks tend to make my lips even drier and look really, really bad. It settles into the fine lines and I try to avoid it for that reason. I did not have that problem with either of their matte formulas. I really appreciated how it felt on the lips. It was sort of like this buttery smooth feel that was comfortable throughout the day. Quick side note when we're talking about comfort, hopefully that's not too loud. <laughs> Someone's mowing the lawn outside. I have an allergy to mango. It's more like a skin sensitivity. I break out pretty badly when I have mango on my skin. So I've actually had that reaction on my lips before when I applied mango because mango is in a lot of things. It didn't occur to me to check these lips sticks to see if they had mango in them and so I tried them all week and as I was preparing the script for today I was doing some research on the lipstick and I looked at the ingredients and saw oh god mango is in them. <laughs> if you are someone who has a skin sensitivity to mango just keep in mind this has mango in it but I'm super sensitive to it and had no reaction. So that skin sensitivity shouldn't necessarily be something that deters you. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the staying power of these lipsticks. Unreal. <laughs> Their Matte X formula was the first one that I tried all day. I tried it in this beautiful red tone. I got so many compliments on it. I was shocked, A, at how comfortable it was. But B, this lipstick I put on at 6.30 in the morning when I went to work. I got home and it was still completely on. Nothing was missing. It looked perfect. I mean, I was like, what? <laughs> I went to bed to take off my makeup and I had to remove the lipstick. It looked as good as it did at 6.30 in the morning, which is unreal. I found that the cream lippies, they didn't stay forever. I think it lasted maybe three or four hours and I had to reapply fairly quickly. And as soon as I ate or drank anything, it would come off, it transferred. But that's fairly normal for a cream lipstick. And then the matte formula. The matte formula is supposed to be a liquid lip formula, which means it's supposed to be the most staying. But I actually found that this didn't last as long for me as the matte X formula. So the matte formula lasted about eight hours, which is a good full work day. It didn't come off in any way that looked weird or odd and then I could just reapply and it looked quite nice. Also, the cream formula. Oh my god, it creates such a stunning wet look. I actually posted another Instagram photo or story or something and I had several people comment on my lips and how nice they looked and I was like, oh, that's my color pop cream lippy. All right, let's talk selection because clearly we have a really, really good selection here. So ColourPop claims that they give you every possible shade of nudes, pinks, and reds that you could want. Now, I'm someone who's always on the hunt for the perfect nude. I mean, always. I could show you tons of lipsticks and liquid lips that I have and what I found over time is that there actually isn't one perfect nude. The perfect nude is really relative to the look that I'm wearing that day and what I'm going for. Whether it's something that's going to be more cool toned, more warm toned, a little bit more brown. And that's why I'm so impressed with the selection here. You know, you've got a fire engine red, you've got a brick red, you've got a more maroon red, you've got burnt sienna, you've got corals, berries, mauves, you've got even like neon pink looks. That is of course excluding blues and greens and blacks and any sort of crazy wild colors. And I don't think that I'd want every shade of green <laughs> lipstick or blue to be honest. Which brings me to my next point, which is how do these lippies compare to other brands? Now, I personally am not a huge lipstick person. I'm really more interested in eyeshadow, but I do have some favorite brands that I tend to stick to. The Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Formula and Matte Revolution Formula. I find those to be very creamy and comfortable, and I like the shades that she offers. They're very complimentary to all skin tones, honestly. And then I also really enjoy the Melt Cosmetic Liquid Lips. They come in funky colors, and they stay really well. They go on nicely, and I feel like they take photos really well, like they're very bold. And then Kylie Cosmetics, her velvet matte lip. Yes. Most importantly for this review, I found that the formula in terms of comfort, staying power, quality was very comparable to these higher end brands. Charlotte Tilbury actually has a new collection of lipsticks coming out and I was 
planning to just buy the whole set. And then ColourPop sent this to me and I've been testing it all week and I honestly don't think that I can justify buying the whole set. I don't have a need for it anymore. I feel like I'm covered with these and the formula is, like I said, quite comparable. So now I'm only planning to buy one of the lipsticks just because it's more of a collector's thing. And then in terms of comparing these to how long they last, staying power wise, these outperform basically any lipstick that I can think of. Additionally, I didn't have any issues with the lipstick getting on my teeth. I'm very prone to lipstick getting on them. So the Tom Ford formula, the Yves Saint Laurent formula, both of those end up on my teeth pretty much immediately. If I smile or anything like that, people are always like, oh, you got it on your teeth. I'm just checking actually, do I? No, no, I don't. Nothing on my teeth. Packaging. <laughs> I really like the packaging. I think it's great for storage. You could keep this on your vanity or your bathroom vanity or countertop somewhere. Maybe you have easy access to these. I also really appreciate that the tip of the lipstick component is the color of the lipstick inside. Now I think this is really smart, but wouldn't be so helpful if the color of the tip weren't true to color. It wouldn't be super helpful if the color of the tip were not true to the color of the lipstick inside of it. Is quite similar in color, so it's easy to pick a color and you're gonna get something similar to what's on the outside on your lips. Which also makes me think about, very quickly, the opaqueness of these. I found them to be quite opaque. I have sort of an intense lip color, it's like kind of pinky purple, and I find that that shows through with a lot of lipsticks that I'm wearing, and so the lipstick is really no longer true to color, like blends in with that. With these, it was so opaque that it just goes over the color. The cream formula is only supposed to be medium to full coverage, and the matte and matte X formulas are full coverage. Honestly, the cream formula, I find to be full coverage personally. It just completely covered the lip color underneath, which I appreciated again because I do have that issue of like it mixing with the lipstick that I'm trying to wear and then the color doesn't look right anymore and it's just a big pain, which is why I'm not really into lipsticks. But I am into these. Talk about the slimness of the lip component. So I really appreciate this in terms of being able to throw this in your bag and easily pull it out and find it. If you wanted to take two or three, let's say you couldn't decide what lipstick you wanted to wear that day, you could easily do that and it doesn't take up much space. But also in terms of storage, this is really smart. Now this is 48 lipsticks. This, this is not very big. Now if I were trying to store bullet lipsticks or liquid lips, those are much bigger. I can't imagine 48 would probably be something. I think this would be a super good fit for someone who's headed off to college, honestly. It would be so easy for them to pack all of their lipsticks and they'd have every shade that they would need, whether they're studying or they're going to class or they're going out or they're giving a presentation, they would be covered. I also think it would be perfect for someone also who's maybe not into makeup and is sort of a beginner and is like, ah, I really can't be bothered with makeup. You wouldn't need to go find a million different lipsticks. You'd have everything that you need. And then also for the collector or the makeup artist or the makeup enthusiast, this is perfect. Perfect. If you're a makeup artist, you've got every color that you need pretty much for your clients and every occasion that they might be going to. And if you're an enthusiast or collector like me, oh, this is like perfect. For me, it's like heaven. When this came, my daughter came running in and was like, oh my goodness, you got something from ColourPop. What is it? Can I open it? Can I open it? Oh my God. You're not gonna believe it. And I also just wanted to say, this is a great buy. Having sold out, it's obviously super popular. Like I said, it's back in stock now. I don't know for how long. Now, on to swatches. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget that I have a coupon code. It's five Lauren Glitters. It gets you $5 off your purchase of $20 or more. There are some restrictions. I also don't get any commission for that. Just FYI. Before we head off to swatches, please comment below your thoughts on the box, whether or not this is something you could see yourself buying, why or why not. Love ya, bye.
insert some photos with some swatches that my daughter did. She actually was kind enough to swatch on her arm the first two rows. So those are the lightest colors. My daughter has a lighter skin tone, so you'll be able to see it with her on that. Like I said, I also have some photos that I'm gonna share of different colors that I tried. I tried a variety of colors. And then also, if you made it this far, go ahead and leave a heart below. I would love to see who made it this far. You get 10 glitter points for that. And if you're really, really interested in seeing lip swatches for all these colors, I would love to know that because that would take a long time to do, but it would be fun, but it would be worth it if people are interested. So please let me know below.